Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm.com. In this video, I'll show you how to add the Reading Progress Tracker to your WordPress website using nothing but just Elementor Pro starting with Elementor Pro 3.5. You don't need any third party add on or you don't have to write a code. You can do this. Watch what happens as I scroll through the page. It shows how much I've scrolled through the page or how much I've read the content on the page, right? It's a neat trick. Most popular blogs use this technique. You can use this to boost user engagement and I'll show you how to achieve this. Let's get into it. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get it from the link in the description. Once you have Elementor Pro, click on Theme Builder and click on the header that you already have if you want to add it to the existing header. Now, I have actually designed a separate header to show up on just the posts so that I can include this reading tracker over there. As you can see, this instances shows that this header is valid only for the post and for the rest of the site, I have a different header. You can also do the same. Just click on add new and change the conditions. Now I'll just click on edit and I'll just click on the plus button. Let's actually remove the motion effects for now so that we can add that later. I'll click on the plus button. I'll click the single column or the single section layout. I'll just click and drag it right below this section, right? Now I'll click on the plus button again and I'll search for progress tracker and it's this one, not the progress bar. Just click and drag it. Once you see the blue line, release that. So you can see it's already working by default and you can choose horizontal or circular but horizontal works good if you're adding it for header we'll just stick to horizontal you can choose the progress relative to entire page post content or selector which is a css selector so you can have hash id name or dot class name let's choose entire page for now now i'll just click on the section that holds this widget i'll change the content width to full width so it stretches to the full width of the page and I also want to make both these sections sticky. I'll just click on the section above. So I'll just click on the section above. Click on the advanced tab under motion effects. I'll just click on sticky and choose stop. I'll do the same for this section right below this, which holds the progress tracker. Click that motion effects, sticky and top. And right now we cannot actually see it. And we need to adjust the offset so that this widget appears right below this particular section, right? So I'll do one thing under this section. I'll just click on advanced, set the margin to zero, set the padding to zero. And I'll also click on the column and I'll change the vertical align to top. Now let's click on the section again, click on motion effects and let's play with the offset a little bit. As you can see, if I change it to 50 pixels, there's the progress tracker. I'll just keep increasing that so that it's in the desired position. And of course you can change it per widget. Now it looks better. So I'll just click on update or you can click on publish, change the conditions. As you can see, I set it to singular. I'll just remove this, set it again, click on add condition. I don't want this on entire page. I want it on singular and I'll just click on all singular and choose posts because we just want to track how much the user has scrolled on the posts itself. We don't want them on the pages, right? So this is the header that shows up specifically on posts. So I'll just click on save and close. Now this is the header and you can see there's some gap right from the beginning and we don't want that. We've already set the margin of the section. I'll just click on the section, go to advanced. We've already set that to zero and that's not helping clearly. So I can actually click on the column that holds this widget and set padding to zero. I think that would help. As you can see, zero padding and it sticks right onto the top because under layout, we chose vertical align top. So that should fix the issue. Again, you have to clear all the cache. I'll just click on purge all. And now our widget looks better. You can see the scrolling progress in action, right? Let's change, click on the widget again, go to content and change it to post content. Update. 
again we need to clear the cache now our scrolling indicator is relevant to the page or the post content right since this is the end the content is filled previously it didn't fill up until we scroll to the end of the page right and you can go to the style tab you can also choose the direction in which it fills right either to the left or to the right let's choose left so this is to the right and this is in another direction right you can change it the way you want either from left to right or right to left you can also show the percentage and you can also specify where the percentage should appear right you can totally customize the color right maybe if you want a gray color you can have it for the progress indicator you can also have a gradient if that's what you'll want you can also click on background color and choose a background color that holds this so something like that and it fills up something like that but we don't want that i'll just click on this color and set it to default i'll again click on update again you can see the changes in action now the progress is gray in color but blue looks better anyway so i'll just click here and change it to blue color so that looks better you can change the height of your progress bar let's set it to maybe around 18 pixels or so i'll just click on update again if i refresh this page or if i purge all the cache then that looks sleek right if that's what you're looking for right you can skip the whole percentage itself and that looks even better right even without the percentage if i click on content and choose to not show the percentage it looks even better now again i need to clear all the cache and just like that you see that neat little progress tracking bar or reading progress bar without any code without any third party add-on all built into elementor 3.5 pro so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you don't have elementor pro you can get it from the link in the description see you in the next one bye bye